Hey guys, it's Biggest AG Fan Ever here back again, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of the American Girl Place Chicago during the holiday season. So if you guys don't know, I was actually just at the American Girl Place Chicago for the holiday window unveiling, and that is when I took this video because I decided it looked so pretty with all of the holiday decorations that I had to show you guys and give you guys an updated tour. If you did not know, I have two other videos showing the American Girl Place Chicago, so I will link the most recent one up in the iCard to the top right. But currently you are looking at the main entrance for the American Girl Place Chicago. There are three entrances that enter onto the main level, two of which enter from the street, and then there is one entrance that enters from the second level of the store. Since it is the main entrance, this is where the majority of the new stuff is. So depending on the time of the year, there will be the latest new stuff. And since it is the holiday season, they have all of the new holiday stuff, which is so gorgeous. They also put up the holiday decorations such as the garland that you see all over the place and this looks so amazing. It's like a little nook that nobody can access but they always decorate it to make it look so cute. This is the section that I call the bookstore because they have basically every single American Girl book that they currently sell there as well as all of the DVDs that they sell. So now on to the main section of the first floor. The majority of the first floor is dedicated to the Be Forever slash historical dolls. So all of the dolls get their own little section with their own little sign and they have a little display thing that describes them as well as a glass display case showing off every single item in their collection. Some of the more popular items are also available to look at and play with firsthand. I am not sure when this happened, but I'm pretty sure that it happened recently, but American Girl just redesigned slash rebranded all of the graphics for each Be Forever doll, so now they are a bit more personalized to what they like. They also do these display cases with a bunch of the dolls, and they look so cute, like this winter market scene. Some of the display cases, like Miss Rebecca's here, are a bit lacking, and it's kind of sad. American Girl was also advertising these like bundle sets for the holidays, and I think that's a really good idea. Of course, in the middle aisle, they have all of the new holiday stuff for all of the Be Forever dolls in display cases so that way you can see them and buy them. Of course, in the middle, they have their iconic collection of all of the dolls in a circle, but some of the dolls were missing this time. Can you guys spot which ones were missing? I am really loving the new branding on the dolls. I feel like it is way more personalized to each doll and it just looks so much better than the old branding and it's like way more appealing. These next two displays were hands down my favorite displays in the entire store. If you are an original American Girl collector, you will love them just as much as I did. They had all of the dolls that they are currently selling in the last display, and then in this one they have all of the historical dolls that they have sold. Minus the best friends, which I feel like American Girl tries to like forget that they ever did, but it made me so happy to see them all there together.
What do you guys think of the new items that were released for American Girl? Do you like them or not? My mom particularly loved all of the new jewelry items. She said that they were pretty accurate to the stuff that she had when she was younger. If you didn't notice, they also changed the backgrounds on all of the Be Forever dolls display cases. Before they were just plain and now they all have a backdrop that pertains to the character themselves. I am really loving these three outfits of Mary Ellen's right here. I think they're so adorable. <laughs> and of course you cannot forget Mary Ellen's Seaside Diner, which I feel like was around and then they kind of just got rid of it and now it's just back and it kind of is confusing. But it's back and it's really cute and I want it, but it's really expensive. And then by the second entrance, they have some of Luciana's collection left. And they also have the brand new doll hospital section. Obviously here you can send your doll to the doll hospital and they have these little steps that you go through and then they have the checkup section with a doctor there to check on your doll. I didn't really film much of the Bitty Baby section because not much has changed except for this section, so if you want to see the Bitty Baby section, go watch my old tour. Now we are on the second floor and this is where they have the current Girl of the Year stuff, which this year is Blair Wilson. If you would like to see my brutally honest opinions on Blair Wilson's collection, I have a video on my channel about that. As you can see though, not much has changed in this section and it's not very holiday-y so I don't really have much to say. Another one of my favorite parts of the store has always been the collection where they have all of the past Girl of the Year dolls because it is so cool to look back at them and see what they look like and see the years and how much the times have changed. On the other side of that, they have these really cute holiday slash winter collections on display and they are really cute snapshots of the new items. Back into the main part of the store, this is the beginning of the Truly Me section. And they also have the $5,000 Swarovski Crystal American Girl doll on display here right now. And to my surprise, they had the Nutcracker collection here, even though they said it was sold out online, so I picked up the other half of the collection while I was there. <laughs> Another part that was surprising to me was the fact that they had some Be Forever and Bitty Baby stuff mixed in with the Truly Me section. But look at those amazing redesigned boxes! Don't they look so much better? Of course, they always have to have the kitchen scene, but this time they added some holiday flair to it. And they have my favorite set on display, which is the Bowling Alley set. Once again, I was surprised to see a pocket of Be Forever stuff and Girl of the Year stuff in the middle of the Truly Me section. They also have the super cool pool on display. That's not the name of it, but it should be. On the other side of that, they had this like school section, which I thought was really cute because they had like these school uniforms 
They're probably not school uniforms, but they kind of look like school uniforms, and I really like them a lot. And then they had this pajama section where, of course, you can have the matching pajamas to your American Girl doll. Next to that, they had the little spa section slash care for your doll section where they have the clip-in extensions and accessories like that. And on the other side of that, they had all of the Truly Me dolls on display in their number order. Once again, they have another bundle set up here. This one is a Truly Me bundle set, and you get a bunch of different items bundled together. And I think that is a really cool idea. This pet section reminded me of the pet section at the American Girl Place Denver. If you haven't seen that video, that is also on my channel and will be in the iCard to the right. Next to that, they have this section where they have a majority of the Truly Me dolls on display where you can touch and see them firsthand. Then there is the checkout area, which is all decked out for the holiday season. These are another one of the new kits that American Girl released. They are the Smart Girls Guide Kits, and there are six different types of kits that you can buy, and each one comes with a mini doll as well as a set of items that pertains to that specific kit. In this back section, they just kind of have all of these sporty stuff and some other just random Truly Me items mixed in. They also have the create your own section where you can create your own design, which is apparel, or you can create your own doll back here. Next to that, they have the newly designed, brand new American Girl Doll Hair Salon, and it is amazing looking. You can get your own hair done here or your doll's hair done here. They also have a little display showing the new boy holiday outfit as well as the new girl holiday outfit for your dolls. Further down this path, they have other cute little shops, I guess you can call them. And along the way, they have these little display boxes that show these cute little holiday scenes.
at the very end of the pathway, they have the American Girl Cafe, Mary Ellen's Sweet Shop that is full size that you can visit, and they have the ear piercing section. So yeah, that is the end of the tour for the American Girl Place Chicago. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell icon so that you will be notified every time I upload, if you can be notified. If not, go follow my Instagram account, which is underscore biggest AG fan ever underscore and comment down below or comment on my Instagram whether or not you have been to the American Girl Place Chicago. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.